Okay, so that first um, slide there, uh, the first one are vertical angles. Vertical angles share a common vertex, and they have, does anybody know what the relationship between their measure is? They have the same measure. They are congruent. <clears throat> okay, they are congruent or they have the same measure. So in those two pictures there, A and B are what we consider vertical angles. A lot of times they are denoted uh, with the same number of curves uh, drawn inside the angle. <clears throat> so we also have, we could lay this C and D. They are also vertical angles. And we could put two curves to denote that they are vertical angles, but they have different measure from A and B. Okay, so that's just a little bit of notation going on there. Okay, we also have what we call adjacent angles. Adjacent angles also share a vertex, but more than just sharing a vertex, they share a side. Okay, so A and B here, there's their vertex, there's their shared side, same thing in this picture. Okay, the vertical angles, they don't share a side. They're formed by two intersecting lines, um, but they don't have a, a side between them. Okay, now a specific example of adjacent angles are what we call a linear pair. So they share a vertex and a side. And because they are a linear pair, they form a 180 degree, or you may also see it referred to as a straight angle. So they share a vertex, they share a side, and together they form a 180 degree angle. All right, so, so uh, example, so I'm going to label this one number one. Okay, the missing angle, those are vertical angles. So that's going to be 74 degrees. The one right beside it, those are also vertical angles. So that angle would be 33 degrees. Okay, number three, how would we find the measure of angle B? Subtract from 180, so that would give us 126. And how about the one on the far right, 89, okay? Now, this isn't part of the exercise, but let's throw it in there just uh, for extra practice. Let's fill in the other angles in each one of these, okay? So for number one, those two vertical angles are 74. How would we find the other angles there? Subtract from 180, so what, 106? Okay, both of those would be 106. Um, then we've got 147 for number two. And then, of course, you'd have 180 on the opposite sides of those linear pairs. That whole angle right there would be 180 degrees. Now, it's more likely that you're going to see it with like a variable expression to it. Uh, so same property, we have vertical angles there in the first one, so they are equal to each other, but we have to solve for x. And if you can't read it, if it's too tiny there, it's 46 is the uh, angle measure, and 6x plus 4 is the part on the bottom. So we're just solving for x, subtract 4 from both sides, so we get 42 is equal to 6x, divide both sides by 6, so 7 is x. 7 is not the measure of the angle. We know the measure of the angle, it's 46, but 7 is what causes that expression there to equal 46. Okay, how would we do the second one there? Add them together. 6x plus 2 plus x minus 4, and it's equal to 180 because they are a linear pair. So we need to combine like terms. 6x plus x is 7x. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then we have an equation just like we just solved. Add 2 to both sides. 7x is equal to 182. 
divide by 7, so x is equal to 26. Okay. Alright, we're going to hold off on the worksheet problems for just a second because I do want to start on um, parallel lines really quick. Okay, flip your paper over, flip your gray paper over. What is true about parallel lines? They never touch or intersect is the mathematical word that we use for that. Okay, they never intersect or touch. Okay, but a transversal line is a line that intersects parallel lines. Okay, we draw it through the parallel lines. So in that little diagram that I have there, let's name M and N. We'll name the lines that. So M is uh, parallel. You'll see two vertical lines written like that. That's the notation for parallel. Uh, you may also see arrows drawn. <clears throat> um, not on the ends of the lines, but a little bit further in, that's notation that those two lines are parallel to each other. And this would be our transversal right here. It cuts through those parallel lines. Um, and you can see that it creates some angles there. Now we're going to look at... Um, some relationships between these angles.